Now, during the breakdown, you're going to want to turn off the blower and uh, unhook the tubes with the closed tube. Just open it up. And you're going to want to open up all the flaps and um, just get this thing ready to deflate. While the Moomonk is deflating, you're going to want to go around and make sure you get all the hook stakes uh, out of the tethers on the Moomonk. Make sure you pull all those out before you start walking and folding the Moomonk. After you turn off the blower and open up all the flaps, uh, take all your shoes off and start walking on the Moomonk to get an extra flap. And you'll start moving the vinyl around. Um, just get it as far as you can, it'll make it easier while rolling down. Try not to step on the mesh. Uh, the mesh is just very easy to stretch. Most Moomonks you're going to see in the back. Um, what that means you're just going to pull all the vinyl from the back uh, forward until you can see the bottom seam. You're going to want to make sure that you pull all the vinyl inside, uh, like this step, and um, the front screen, which all extends up off the seam of the moon. This particular Moomonk folds in thirds, um, so you're going to fold it over once, walk on it, and get inside as flat as they can, and then they're going to fold it over one more time on top of where they first folded it. You're going to want to make sure that the straps are underneath the Moomonk before you start rolling it. When it's rolled up, make sure the straps are on and tiny. It'll make it a lot easier getting it into the bag. When you roll it, you're gonna roll it from the front to the back to where the tubes are, just uh, so the air can continue coming out while they're rolling it. And all of our moonwalks can be rolled by two people, one person walking and one person rolling, but it really doesn't matter how many people you have on the moonwalk, um, walking or rolling. Just make sure whoever's walking has their shoes off. Uh, so they do not damage the Moomonk. After you roll it to the end, they're going to roll it back just uh, one or two feet. Um, then you're going to want to fold uh, the tubes in and all the straps. Um, primarily, or just where you can get uh, the seam, where that is the only thing that is showing. Or if you want, uh, you can just fold the whole thing over, and then we'll roll it back on top of that. And after that's done, you're going to strap it, and then it'll be ready to go and put into the bag. To put it in the bag, uh, after it's strapped, you're just going to want to stand it up on one of the ends and um, pull the bag over the top. Once it's over the top, you'll just flip it over um, to where you can get the rope of the straps. Um, just easy access, and then uh, you'll tie it off and put it in your vehicle.